All right. Ooh, I can't wait. Do you know what today is? Yes, I do. What is it? Halloween candy tasting day. It is. And I have, or we have been collecting a massive bag of treats from the Dollar Tree. Yes, Halloween, but just, you know, some autumnal treats in there too. So my stomach says it's time to start. So we're not going to waste any more time. Dollar Tree taste test time. Let's go. Hey, wait a minute. We didn't even introduce ourselves yet. Hey, everybody. It's Shelby with a chick plus three and a very anxious bell. So, yes, we will jump right into this Dollar Tree taste test now. So, what do you all say? Now it's time, Bill. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, to get us started, why don't we uh, taste test this Victor Allen pumpkin spice coffee? Sure thing. It came from the Dollar Tree. Came from after the Dollar all. Tree, yep. Yeah. And I've had it in the refrigerator getting nice and cold, so we don't need any ice. It's iced coffee and latte in a can. Mm. Last time I opened one of these, it exploded. I know. We were in the car. Now mm. we're not in the car. Oh, because I got a tripod, guys. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> so now we're not sitting in the car opening carbonated beverages. Although what Bill didn't do this time is the can tells you to shake oh, it. Oh, I shook it. Oh, did you? I gave it five minutes oh, to settle. Good. I'm good. no fool. <laughs> All right. I learned. You well, want... this is the perfect... Uh, taste treat to go with our autumnal taste test from the dollar tree. Would you like the camel or the uh I'll the take dog? the camel glass. I'll take the Scotty Terry. I thrifted these little glasses by the way. Not in the same place. I collected these little animal glasses. All right. Cheers. cheers. Happy fall. Happy fall. Pumpkin spice. It smells like pumpkin spice. Oh, it, does. it actually smells like pumpkin. Oh, this is made in the United States. I can I can taste the pumpkin spice. I can spice. too. Definitely tastes like the pumpkin spice, like spice that you buy. Tastes like the smell of the spice, if that makes sense. Tastes like a creamer. I'm not getting too much coffee out of this. Uh, good news is only uh, 75 milligrams of sodium for those yeah. of us watching it. Bad news is there's 22 grams of uh, sugar per can. Is it an, uh, it's an iced coffee latte, so latte. I think maybe latte is what's Milk. throwing you off, that you're getting a more milky flavor. Yeah, I think creamy. it's tasty, though. It's so tasty, far, I'm it's enjoying creamy, it. And it's cold. Mm hmm No chemical aftertaste as of no, yet. No, so. not a bit. Not, not offensive bad. at all. Not bad. Not bad at all. Here he goes. How many times are we going to hear not offensive today? That's not a great descriptive word. Well, the whole line is, it's not offensive, but give it a drink in 10 minutes and we'll see. Okay. Mm. It's good All though. right. I'm going to reach into the bag. I'm going oh, to go. Here we go. get some treats. I'm going to set that there so I can sip it in between the treats. What's up? All right. The first thing I pulled from the bag is Kathy Kay's World's Best Caramel Corn Cob. Nice. Now, what I just noticed, though, guys, is it says try it warm, and it has directions on uh, the back to microwave it. So we don't have a microwave here in our catch-all room. If you didn't notice, we're sitting in a spare room now that we're empty nesters that is crafts, spare bedroom, toy room, you name it. But name in it. any case, we're here for a taste test. So we have this caramel cob. I've been dying to try this. 330 calories, Bill, in this one cob. Candy though, bar. And um, 28 grams of sugar. Mm. Boy, I hope all this stuff doesn't make me sick. Well, don't eat all of it. Just eat some of it. All right. We're we'll gonna... save the rest for later. Now this... Mmm. Smells good. I Smells did wash, like the world's best. I did wash my hands because I want to. Not super, super sticky. Pretty sticky. You know. As expected. 
looks If you warmed it up, really it'd be very fun. sticky. I though. know it. Yeah. So now the thing is, how are we going to? Do you have a tray? I do. Can, yeah, beside you. Could we borrow that, please? Oh, good. And there's a napkin. Well, I didn't intend it to be a napkin, but there is. There is. Universe provides. All right, ready? Mm hmm. Oh, goodness. Does it snap easy? That's a good sign. It means it has caramel in it. It is. Look at that. It's all sugar. Jeez. All right, here. We're going to set that aside. And then do you want to. Oh, we, yeah, I guess we could tell more where it's like made and stuff. Logan, Utah, folks. Oh, so that's what it looks like. All right, you want to. We'll each rip some off. Or you just want more than that? No, I'll have more than that, but I just come off of my hand. You're not going to like it. It's going to get stuck in your teeth. The hulls. <laughs> so, you want to let me know. Is this stuff supposed to be like this soft? It's just sticky, but the popcorn is really got a chew to it. I've been watching the bacon shows lately, and they would say, there's a chew. I mean, it now, has nice flavor. It has nice flavor. It'd be better warm, I have to agree. Warming it up is probably preferable. Now, the texture, if you're into textures, closest thing I get the texture is an old box of Cracker Jack that's mm -hmm. been sitting there a while and you have to dig it out. And I, I can't eat this because I'm very carefully, all the little hulls, the kernels, I do that bad stuff in my teeth yeah. and gums. The caramel's good. Excuse me for spitting. Uh, the caramel's good. Mm. The popcorn's soft because it's been sitting in a package in caramel, but it's good. Zap it up, maybe for a Halloween party for the kids or grandkids they come over See. during October. <laughs> now I got holes in my throat. I don't know how you eat Cracker Jack. This was a bad thing for me to start with. I can't like finish. It won't go down my throat. I have an I have a, a, a an extra tube in my throat for the hulls. This isn't the greatest after that. <laughs> Not a good mixture. Pumpkin spice and caramel corn. You'd think they'd go together. Again. All right. It must be the world's best because no one else is making it. All right. So you know, I guess for what it is, it's probably fine. Would I buy it again? I, I would no. heat it up. I would heat it up. I would not buy it again. All right. So you know what? Maybe this will cleanse our palate. Let's try these peanut butter kisses. Now they're not chocolate, guys. They're by Melster Candies. Here, I'll get it open. Bill. This is old-fashioned candy. And then if you want to unwrap <laughs> one and show show them, and I'll say what they come in it the is. orange and the black uh, wrapping. And this orange and the black wrapping doesn't feel like wax paper. Usually these things are like wax paper. Yeah, it says it's a nostalgic treat that will leave you with a smile and a craving for more. Distributed by Impact Confections in Janesville, Wisconsin. And it is made in Mexico. It's in Mexico. Now, uh, double wrap. It seems like mine anyway was double wrap. And it says you get 17 pieces in here. Very hard, so you're not going to be chewing on this right away, but there's a little peanut butter on the inside. Oh, is it hard? Yeah. I no. I don't think I dare to eat it. I, I, man, I, I cannot lose my crowns. Compared to the candy in the past that comes in sort of like a wax type of paper. I know, this is shiny. I expected it like the Heavy. wax. Like yeah. uh, salt water taffy. Yeah, I was going to say taffy. Because it says taffy on the packaging. It is a taffy. Now, compared to the old candy, I mean, the, the old the time candy that right. peanut what butter they're, kisses, they're whatever they're called. They're... I'm not getting much peanut butter out of it right away, which is a downside for me because that's why I eat them and put up with the uh, the chewing. All right. Put my... so, so what do you think, a yay or a nay? It's all right. I was just hoping for more. Okay, you were hoping for the the old timey experience, old time of when you some nostalgia. Kids. Okay, all right. Well, then, what do you say? Ooh, we tried these. Talk about nostalgia. This I know I'll be able to bite. Bud's best cookies, Uncle Al's. 
Mm -hmm. Proudly yeah. made in the USA. Maple cream cookies, a dollar twenty-five, guys. It's They're bite price. size, so I guess. We'll see if the cookie is the size of this. They're going to be small, but to find a maple cream cookie for a buck twenty-five, mm -hmm. that's insane. Hoover, Alabama, is where Bud's Best is. It says, and the best use by date on this is July two thousand and twenty-four. So plenty of time. This Ooh, is nice what it looks bag. like. Nice so and like half that. Yeah. So yep. it's it's uh, half the two thirds full. So it claims there's 42 cookies in here. So 42 even bite size for a dollar twenty-five. Maple it's a cream. Good deal. I know it. I'm oh. very excited by the maple cream. And move out the bottom. Oh. <laughs> it's open. Exactly. That's the main thing. Is it got open? And oh, oh, I remember now. <clears throat> Oh, it smells good. Look what it looks like. I th yeah, and now it's all coming back. I think one night I busted into a box of these. These are delicious. And it's the size of the cookie on the box. So what you see is what you're getting. And I have to say, I like this is more mapley brown. The box is very blonde looking. Yeah, these so. are delicious. Now, just like Uncle Al, they all are imperfect. This one has flowers on or maple leaves on both sides. This Mine one has one on, only on one side. Mine had it on both sides. Yeah. I tried the cream. They're delicious, I know, because I've stolen some before. So the cream's separate. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Mapley goodness. I grew up on maple maple cookies. And the problem is you can't mm -hmm. buy maple cookies for the Unless you're making big money these days, because it's very, very expensive. Even maple syrup mm. is insanely priced. Mm. Buck, buck 25 is, this is the world's best deal. I could eat this whole box. And what they taste like, if you like maple sugar candy, that's the flavor. Not that, not burnt, but just that nice little, you know what I'm talking about? Like mm -hmm. if you eat, like, we're from New England, and so... You know, visiting like uh, Vermont and all the apple cider places here in upstate New York and growing up in Massachusetts. Lots of maple sugar candy. And this has that nice flavor. It's almost like that slightly burned yeah. mapley sugarness. They're delicious cookies. You got to buy them. Absolutely delicious. You got to buy them out before they disappear. Exactly. We got to go get some more of these. Yeah. You're not kidding. All right, here's another made in Mexico uh, candy. And I tell you guys all the time, I am a sucker for packaging. Look at the packaging of this, the spider, the mummy, and Turn he's around. holding cotton candy. Turn it around. Oh, I will. Look at that, the jack-o'-lantern and the spider web. So this is cotton candy party pack. Three packs of cotton candy and three different flavors, watermelon, green apple, and blue raspberry. And so we actually purchased two of these because even though we haven't tasted them yet, how bad can cotton candy be? Hopefully not bad. So we're gonna put one away for our Mimi and Billy's Halloween extravaganza party that we do for a whole total of like five people, but still, I can call it an extravaganza. It is. You should see the donut I eating go contest. All out. Exactly. It's like oh, raw. I think they saw yeah. some of it last year. But so back to this. Each of these little puffs are fifty-five calories, and again, fifteen grams of sugar, though. So you know, it's candy. What can I say? Right? Lots of sugar. Oh, you know what, guys? Let me grab some scissors. After all, I do have my craft supplies here. And did you see I got on my great pumpkin Charlie Brown shirt? This was a new buy this year, I think, at uh, Target. A splurge at Target. All right, Bill. Oh, look at even the inner oh, there are packaging. Oh, yeah. they decorated. Printed. Yeah. All right, so here, we're going to open which flavor 
do you want to try? Look at this one's got mummies on it. And it says spooky. All right, now I gotta see the blue one. So this here is a green I'm so apple. Excited! Look at this one. Trick or treat with a spider and a web. All right, this packaging, how fun would this look set out on a table? for a little Halloween party, or, you know, this would be kind of pricey to give out to trick-or-treaters. Unless you're living in a very small area. That's what I was going to say, or, like, if you want to give them out to, like, uh, leave one of these on, like, somebody's desk when they come in in the morning at work, or tuck one on Halloween day into a kid's lunchbox oh, or yeah. something. How sweet. All right. You want to try one or try them all? I guess we can try and can well I don't know. Let's do the apple first. Yeah, all right. I say try them all, but I don't I I can't eat three cups of uh, cotton candy and all this other stuff. And I know we did tell you they're made in Mexico. Yeah. I mean the packaging I am just loving. All right, I smell sugar. This is the apple. The <laughs> apple. Sugar. Mm. You want to reach in there and grab a pinch? Sugary, almost like chemically. It's like chewing tobacco. Just a pinch and then put it in your cheek and Typical go. cotton candy. Wow, that. All right, that disappeared like. Mine. Didn't even make my mouth. <laughs> it's on your clothes. There's like absolutely no graininess to this. <laughs> it's almost like it gets near your mouth and it evaporate sugar now it tastes like sugar it has sort right, of an appleish taste to it but not to gross not people offensive. out but it disappears it like seriously like evaporates goes to the other side you got some sort of i mean that's strange it's you can nice. stop I don't want to encourage Bill, but this would be the type of thing you literally could stuff the whole thing in your mouth because is that a, is that just, a dare? No, no. Because that's how I operate. That's how I, I know it because it just the, disappears. There's no swallowing. The donut eating contest. I just put it all. There's in my no mouth. swallowing. There's no nothing. Very mild flavor. Yeah. But you definitely can taste the flavor. I, I want to like run. It. I want to run around the room right now. <laughs> <laughs> you only had a little bite. I like it, and the packaging gets a huge two thumbs up from me. Yeah. All right, ready, Bill? Next, we have a whole collection of Werther's. Now, the other day, um, at the end of one of our Dollar Tree walkthroughs, we shared the chocolate-covered caramel Oh, yeah. Caramel Taste, tasted like Milky Ways is what mm, it's our... So, yeah. so good. So, we also have here... The pumpkin spice. So I'm going to get these open. Um, it's by Stork. Makes Werther's. And it's a German company. Yeah, German. Same company we discovered that does Reason. That's right. All right, now, so that's the pumpkin spice. I'm going to tell you, when I was on dialysis, uh, these were the things that uh, kept me going uh, for the four or five hours I was sitting there. I've had them all. I can't find a Werther product that I didn't like. And these are limited edition, yep. all three. And I've had the pumpkin spice. I've had the caramel apple. Love the caramel apple. All right. Well, here, let's get that pumpkin spice and the, crack. And the maple thing. cream is to die for. Yeah, that was maple cream and the um, just the chocolate-covered caramel. Yeah. Now, these are caramel. Some of them are stuffed. Is it something here we can hear? Let's just rip it in half. This one does, is not stuffed, but some of them come stuffed with the. Uh, it looks. It looks like that's nothing inside. No, it? no, because usually it's like oh. a big circle of mm. cream or something. But delicious. Like this one here, the maple sugar will show you this cream is done. Okay. okay. Scrumptious. Mm -hmm. Never got a bad package. Any flavor, hard or soft. These are soft chews. I really like the soft ones. They're delicious. Mm. Oh my goodness. Put them in a candy dish around your house. This mm. time of year is really a treat. That really tastes pumpkin spicy and not in an offensive way, not chemically, 
I'm not getting any bad aftertaste. I am really impressed. She's, she's going to eat all my, all my. I know it because when he was on dialysis, I never tried this stuff. I figured it'd be pulling my teeth out, but they're not kidding. Soft. They're like really soft, kind of melty. So this is the maple cream. This one is stuffed. So. All right. And then we have the caramel apple. It doesn't look stuffed. So. And they all look the same, just different color wrappers. Yeah, and so, they're all soft caramel. So this one is the maple. Maple. Oh, this one's a little bit harder. Oh. <laughs> Mind my fingers. <laughs> I hope your hands are clean. I have a bunch of like skin cells. In they've it. been at the end of my arms all day long. I know where they've been. There's the maple. I'm getting a maple hit right away. Mm -hmm. Strong maple hit. Mm. Wow. I'm Clean not sure out. which one I like better. Don't pick one. Just eat them all. Mm. And it's not like they all taste the same. No. You reach for those in a candy bowl, you're eating them. You're getting all different flavors. All mm -hmm. right. Well, we'll go for the green apple. Is that the last one? Ooh, yeah. Caramel apple. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, this is probably going to be a favorite. Knowing you. Knowing you, knowing me. Knowing me, knowing you. There it is. Okay, let me do the honors of this one. Oh, I got the bigger piece. Awesome. Oh, it smells, oh, like, an wow. apple. It smells mm -hmm. like an apple. Just like a green apple. Mm. I told you, your new favorite now, huh? It's filled. It's not part of the caramel. It's, it's like a cream inside. Mm. Wow, that is green apple. But again, it's delicious. in a fresh, real apple flavor, like, not like, like Jolly Rancher green apple or lollipop green apples. That has a really nice, like fresh green apple bite. However, they have filled it, gives it like that juiciness texture of biting into a green apple that's been dipped in caramel you get 10 pieces mm. to a bag it seems great job worthers those are scrumptious thumbs up i don't know if you want to put this mm -hmm. put this in a candy tray for the trick-or-treaters but it's it's they're all tasty yeah or save it for yourself you for know yourself. but this would be great uh to pick up now if you're putting together a little like hostess gift to yep. go see somebody All around the wrapped. holidays or for thanksgiving christmas you know? collect it now because you don't know if these limited ones are yeah. going to be around later we like a little macy's day parade snack this stuff you know with your little nuts and cheeses some candy and your candy perfect corn perfect for the fall guys this stuff is fabulous all right, and since Bill just mentioned candy corn, guys, uh, if you watched our vlog on Saturday, we made our monster mix, and in that is the Dollar Tree candy corn. So we've been stocking up on this stuff, Zachary's candy corn, and then I got the autumn mix because I like to roll into November and Thanksgiving, switch it up a little and use the autumn mix. So we're not going to open these because we can tell you. Uh, They're very good. Yeah. Bill just ate it in the vlog on Saturday. This stuff is delicious. Made in the USA. With honey. honey. So. And, and the thing about inexpensive candy corn Usually the inexpensive stuff is harder on the teeth. These are nice and soft. I've never yeah, had a bad bag exactly. of Zachary. It's like broccoli. And it's also not gritty. Sometimes yeah. some candy corn can have like that like um, grit yeah, to it. True. You know what I'm talking about? Grainy. If you hate candy corn, it's because you had a bad bag of candy corn. That's what I said. These are pretty good. Try it. I know. It's like people either love candy corn or hate candy corn. Mm -hmm. My father was a candy corn oh, addict. Oh, he would sit there and eat it. So, like, um, like bowl of peanuts at a bar. He would just keep eating Yeah, keep eating it. And I do yeah. find with candy corn, if you fall into that trap, you can get like your throat starts oh, yeah, to get Oh, yeah, the sugar will make it all wrong. <laughs> yeah. But so if you see this Zachary product at your Dollar Tree, 
um, you know, hey, if you can find candy corn elsewhere, better price, you know, certainly go for it. Around here, we're having a, a the grocery store candy is all up there. Yeah, sugar sugar's, every place sugar's is expensive, expensive and it's going to be expensive next year too. So. Yeah. So right now, $1.25 is a good price in our area. So we grabbed these, can highly recommend. And I'm not sure, I think Bill snuck something into the bag. Explain this. This is for me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> These Nabisco wafers. I guess it can be fall or Halloween. When we were kids, yeah. Necco, not Nabisco, Necco. When we were kids, you got the little packs of Necco wafers. Necco wafers, yeah. When you trick-or-treated. Yep. I actually like them. These are very nostalgic for me, New England Candy Company. Mm -hmm. uh, grew up on these, love these, and I introduced them to the grandson. Yes. He's hooked on them now. Yes. Yeah. And I have a story. I know I talk a lot, which is funny because for like the first 30 years of my life, I didn't say a word. But what I... Just because you were in a basement. Right? Stop it. <laughs> what I like about these is, and maybe this shows my New England frugality, but when I was a kid, all the candy was 50 cents at the corner store. So... Our junior high used to show movies on Saturdays, and that was like 50 cents. So I'd have a dollar to go to the movies. You lived in the rich part of town. And I could cents. buy candy. And I used to buy these. Can anybody guess why? I talk about all the time at the Dollar Tree how I love bonus packaging. Well, I looked at this compared to, for example, a Nestle Crunch Bar, another one of my favorites. And I was like, a chocolate bar, I'm going to little like eat up in two minutes, and then my candy will be gone. I only have 50 cents. I can only pick one thing. You get something like this, and look at all the pieces in there. It takes a long time to eat. So even though it wasn't my favorite candy, I used to go for it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the same formula they use since 19-whatever. Uh, and I was just saying, it looks like, I believe this is made in Mexico. But uh, uh, they keep the Necco name on it, and it tastes just like it did back in 1960, yeah. 1970. And it still feels like that waxy paper. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe not quite as wax paper, but yeah. I don't saying, know. A we lot had, of candy. In my so. neighborhood, we were so poor, we had a, a penny candy store. Oh, I thought that. I know that store you're talking about, and I thought that's where the rich people went. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to come join us. She didn't like being downstairs. But she ate her meal. Oh, good. Is that what she was doing all this time? Yeah. In there eating? Yeah. Did we forget about her? Did no. she think we forgot about her? No, I kept the two other dogs outside. I opened all the doors oh, so she good. could walk oh, away when right. she needed all to. All right, good. All right, the next thing I know you're excited because you love these. You had these last year. Cowtail mini. But these are the caramel, caramel apple, apple ones. Now, if you like those, uh, those, uh, it's made by, everything's made by, I pronounce the name is Getz, Gotts. Getz's, I think. Getz's, Getz's from Getz's? North Carolina, I believe. Uh, made in the, the bullseyes, USA. The caramel yeah. bullseyes with the caramel around and the white cream in the middle. Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, Baltimore, Maryland. I thought it was North Carolina. Uh, they take those, 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 uh, that idea of the bullseye. And they uh, make these little logs out of them, and they stuff them with different things. So they have the caramel, and this one has the apple You get uh, 12 inside. You get 12 pieces. They're very good. Well, why don't we each have a little piece of one, and we can compare it to the Werther's. Well, it's not going to be comparable, but it's good. Oh, this okay. one here is in the dark. And why is it red inside? Caramel apple. So you've got oh, the, like a caramel apple that so you So the eat. red apple the red apple, to yeah. green. Yep. Okay. And... Uh, it's a good chewiness. Yep. Delicious. The caramel made by Getz is mm. uh, delicious in any form. Uh, this comes regular where they just have the regular white cream inside. You don't have to get the cow tails that uh, have a flavor in it. Mm. It's a different type of flavor than the others in the mm -hmm. Werther's. Mm -hmm. Very good. Doesn't pull any Still teeth really out. Good. Just like They're a bullseye. Definitely like a bullseye. Mm -hmm. I love bullseyes. I haven't got like plain bullseyes. <laughs> Juicy more. apple. Mm hmm. Very tart. Apple uh, flavor. It's delicious. I like the plain cow tails more, though. Oh, yeah. 
I can see that. Yeah. Right. Can't go wrong. Juicy. Pick some of these bags, put them in a bowl, and let the kids pull, pull mm -hmm. out whatever they want. Mm hmm. And Columbina. Another one. Spectacular gummies mix. I love the packaging. No. Now, this you get 25 pieces, so this would be good for trick or treaters. 25 yep. pieces for a buck 25. Yep. Now, Columbina is a candy company made uh, out of Colombia. Uh, we did a lot of this last Halloween, a lot of their pops, a lot of their uh, lollipops. Uh, mm -hmm. was a big deal last year. Like the uh, tongue painter one? That's the only one I wouldn't recommend. Yeah. It had a chemical taste to it. The kids loved it. They were had black mouths or whatever color they, they picked. They couldn't they couldn't get enough of it. But when we tried it, I didn't like the chemical taste to it. But all their other these are their gummies. All their other uh, lollipops, they have a uh, an entire line of them. Uh, oh, and some funny. of them. It's like a jack. And some of them, yeah. And some of them of the lollipops. That is, the more you work on them, the sparkly they become. They have a lot of gimmicks. Look at the cute packaging on that. Now, this one is green. This has little jack-o'-lanterns and spider webs. Well, they have different And they have skulls on them. So, oh, this is a skull, bloody cherry. Oh, there you go, bloody the cherry. The green is an owl, owl. screamy watermelon. An and then ruby, ruddy raspberry is a ghost. Here's the, uh, is this the owl? Uh, uh, That's the owl. Owl. I was going to say the ottoman. Ah. All right. Yeah, that's the owl. What do I have here? What's the purple one? The purple one is Rudy Raspberry. Oh, it's a ghost. A ghost. Look at him. He's cute. Smells good. I I swear by Columbina. You want to open that one? Tasty. Kind of tastes like a freeze pop. Yeah, it's not that sour. It's more sweet. Mm. Not sour. Has a sugar coating, but it doesn't like fall off all on your hands. Consistency is like a Mike and Ike. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to see if that looks like a skull. I guess. Open another one. Mm, that's all right. Open another one. They're kind of like a jelly bean. Not a typical gummy consistency. So it says gummies mixed, but it's more like a... Looks like an alien, not a skull to me. Mm. Bug-eyed alien. That's a good look of them. What is, the consistency is like the inside of a Good and Plenty. That's what it is to me. Yeah. You guys remember Good it's and jelly. Plenty's? It's a jelly baby. Right. But so gummies, the gummies I'm used to, that like the Granzy are a different consistency. So they're calling that a gummy mix, but no, not like and that's, sticky. No, at the Dollar Tree, they have bags of Columbina. Mm -hmm. Like I said, lollipops. Um, these are gummies. Probably the best deal uh, when it comes to uh, uh, buying candy for the kids, neighborhood kids, 35 pieces a bag. Exactly. And out for the Halloween candy at the Dollar Tree, they've got these bags of Whoppers, the snack size ones. I love Whoppers. What is a Whopper? I've never had one. Yes, you have. Seriously? I have never had a Whopper. I've got to check this out. The only thing I wish is that it had here are uh, a more like uh, the package. Get my finger. It's more no Halloween, Halloween theme. Maybe it was just going to be. What? It comes with three little balls? Oh, and it? it's not a bag. It's a little tube. Contains milk, wheat, and soy. Oh, You've had Whoppers before. What, am I, what am I to I love expect? Whoppers. What am I to expect? It's a malted milk ball. What's a malted Excuse milk ball? Excuse me. What's a malted milk ball? Snack Ooh. size malted milk ball. 16 grams of total sugars in, but a, one serving is four tubes. Oh, that's so, a deal. Yeah. 
Miasca goes so to four Bill. four grams of sugar in one tube. I've had these before, obviously. And 30 calories in one tube. I grew up on Necco wafers. Of course I had one. So basically 10 calories of Whopper. They're delicious. Just like Whoppers have always been. Who yep. can made by? Is it Hershey? Those, yep. Hershey Company. Hershey, Pennsylvania, USA. And how many do you get in a bag? Uh... 16 tubes. There you go. So that's not a bad deal for trick-or-treaters either. Three or four bags pieces. of that and you should be set. Should be set. Well, I think some people get hundreds. But... All right. And this is a Hershey's brand too, right? Yep. They have out right now the Reese's Pieces. Right. Hershey's. Oh, this would be another great thing to go in the Monster Mix. Yeah, Hershey. Yep, Hershey's because I see a little Hershey Kiss on Monster Mix. the yep. back. What do we got? We got uh, three servings per container. Two pouches is a serving. Wow. So only six calories. bags. <coughs> three <coughs> servings, two pouches, three times two is six. So, yeah. Here we go. So, three bags this size. No, six bags this size for the $1.25. So probably not a great deal for trick-or-treaters, but... You have to have them in your house. For $1.25, if you wanted portion control, or just like open all these up and put them in a uh, dish of brownies, like homemade brownies. I like the idea of portion control. Yeah. You put one or two of these in your pocket, and when it's gone, you stop eating desserts. Yeah, like when I snacks. when I would like pack a lunch, that's what I would do is take one fun size piece of candy, like last year in October, um, and put one in my lunch, and then that way, that's what I limited myself. We know to. what Reese's pieces are; they're good. Yeah, so they're good. On ice cream. All right. Ooh. We also found this more. Popcorn. These are popcorn balls. Is it Katie? It's a twin pack. It's Kathy, Kathy. K Kathy Foods K. again. So, same thing. Now, this is not any caramel on it, right? This is just whatever sugar they use. To... World's best. Well, they're the only one made. So, again, it's world's best. They're made in the USA. 110 calories for one popcorn ball. 14 grams of sugar and 115 milligrams of sodium. Sign me up. In that. Let's see what it tastes like. Alrighty. I like the I like the decoration on it. I do too. The haunted houses. Oh yeah. Here, did we give them a good look? <clears throat> you see that haunted house there, guys? The creepy tree. The popcorn balls look like full moons, maybe. Real nice job. And they do carry, oh wow. Well, oh, they have more into the uh, wrapper, right. huh? I gotta show you this. I don't wanna knock me off my lap. Look at that, the kids trick or treating. See, I love the little details like that. Look at that. That is awesome. Now that is awesome. All right, let's try it. Happy K. World's best. World's best cup of coffee. Congratulations. Where did that come from? Elf. Elf. Of course. All my cases are from a cup of coffee. Take your blindfold off. It's the world's best. Oh. That is pale, baby. That is a snowball white. Oh, you smell popcorn right away. It does smell really good. It's as if it was a... Oh, it smells... It, it's like you just really made it. nostalgic. It, it smells as if you just made a thing of popcorn. When I was a kid, we, now as an adult, I can appreciate all the effort that, like, you know, the elderly neighbor lady made putting into things like this. So when we were kids, we'd get them and, like... Throw nobody. <laughs> I know that's so horrible. But we were also told we couldn't eat Anything that wasn't wrapped. Um, exactly, because that was, we were kids when it was the era, sadly, of all. Which the satanic out panic. To, not to, turned out to be mainly like urban legends, like the razors and the candy. 
granted, whatever, there were some sad cases of real things. But so, yes, anything homemade or unwrapped, we had to throw away. So people would give us, like, donuts and baggies, homemade Lovely popcorn people. bags. Really nice. We can't eat it. And used to feel so bad. Yeah. So we we used to, like, just throw it on the ground for the because birds. That was We'd Halloween. take it and say thank you and walk away. And that was cut. Halloween before the, uh, yeah. the consumerism took over. So, you want to try it? smells good yeah smells it's like just you better one. do it over the tray because oh. it is crumbly yeah, give me a piece. it is crumbly hey. mm. I, I would just stick it in my mouth and eat like an apple bun it's good i don't think it comes across well enough. now i'm gonna tell you the cob didn't have as much crunch no, it didn't because of the caramel. This has got a nice crunch to it. It's like eating cereal. That yeah, sugar pops or whatever yeah. it is. The cob was chewier. Oh, I think Moo's had enough. The cob was chewier. The popcorn ball has a nice crunch. This is the world's best popcorn ball, by the way. Thank you. Kathy K. Kathy K. I was going to say Katie K. Very good. All right. I think Moo has had enough. So we also pick up at the Dollar Tree these but we're not going to open them i think everybody knows what peeps taste like i use the frankenstein ones on some brownies i made maybe i'll insert yeah i'll insert a picture of those guys so they have the pumpkin ones they got the frankenstein monster ones and they have the ghost ones these are all great you all i think know what peeps are by the just born company out of pennsylvania and Bill's favorite way to eat these is we'll open the package, the end, let it sit for a few days and get, um, I always call it stale, but that's probably not the right word. I thought you were going to say in my underwear. <laughs> probably that too. But yeah, I don't see, think everybody have, wants to know. The that. marshmallow has to get hard for me to be yeah. perfect. It has to get hard a little bit. Yeah. Exposed to the air. Well, thank you everybody for joining us today on this Dollar Tree Taste Test Extravaganza. We hope you had a lot of fun. I know we had a lot of fun. So remember our friends, until next time, please be well. Be well. Okay.